He's in the Country Music Hall of Fame. He's been in the business for a long, long time and is just a major star in any genre of music right here. Everybody loves this man. How about a hand for Mr. Charlie Pride? <laughs> Listening to the Grand Ole Opry, my dad, he held, he did all of the, we had a field call radio and we never had, we couldn't touch the knobs. He did everything we listened to, he said, what he, what he tuned it to. So I got to uh, listen to the Grand Ole Opry, you know, when I was small and I, I got hooked on it. And uh, just, it just went from there. I had no idea that I was preparing myself for this, but I'm glad, especially since I didn't make it in baseball. <laughs> Sleeping under a table in a roadside park A man could wake up dead But it sure seemed warmer than it did Sleeping in a king-size bed uh, uh, A lot of people, you know, come and say, Man, you must have had it hard, you know? I said, no. And I said, my, you know, I, and, and when I would talk to people like yourself, you know, like I'm talking to a reporter, I'll say, well, I have not had not one iota hoot call from the audience. I said, uh-oh, you give me that I can't believe you got to be lying look. So I kept them. I said, well, I start naming, I've got a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. I said, uh, right between Gladys Knight and Leonard Bernstein. Ladies and gentlemen, truly, it's been six years since I had a CD, but this, it is good. I mean, you, you're going to like it. Mm. Now, and I want to say to all of you that don't have a Serious Radio, Willie Nelson Roadhouse. Go get it. Because they play me a lot, and I'm going to get on there and push this baby out there to you. Man. That's my plan. That's the way uh, sometimes I had to talk to reporters, but the big thing was promoters was very, very reluctant to book me. And, uh, but, but it finally came around. Now, I used to be in the Army, too. See, I was in the Army. So... In fact, Elvis Presley and I had the same local board. I went in a year ahead of him. We supposed to went in together. But he was, you know, he was hot back then. Love me tender. <laughs> and so he gave me, we're doing those movies and things, so they gave him a deferment. But I like to do this song for all of the troops and all of, every, all, all of you too. And it, I want to say to you now, it is not a political song. And you'll see when you listen to the words. And I'll tell you, well, no, that's the last one I'm going to do. Well, anyway. You're liking it. Goes like that. And I tell my fans on stage a lot of time. I said, "You all were a lot, had a lot to do with this because you bought all my albums and Frank's, you know, all this that you bought." And and I said, "I it made me uh, male vocalist and entertained the year 1971, and after that, I followed Elvis in 1971 at the Hilton." Washington and Jefferson, I wonder what they'd say If they came back and seen the change in the USA today Yeah, back to Merle, I used Merle's bass uh, band uh, The first time I ever went on stage with a big, a big, uh, uh, a big package It was a package show, had about 10,000 people in Detroit And I got there about five minutes before time to go on and uh, again we go back to that uh, promoters having being reluctant to book me and they still I was booked but they still was nervous so I got there he says Charlie he had his pencil like that and he says now uh, it, it was a three o'clock show an eight o'clock show he says uh, uh, now you don't have to he said it's five minutes before you go on he says now you have them rehearsed with the band or nothing? I said, no. I said, well, do they play country music? He said, yeah. I said, well, I'll be ready in two minutes. So he said, <laughs> Would they be disappointed 
Did we let our morals slide? Are we losing family values? Did we push God aside? Kennedy and Lincoln, they both gave their lives for us. I'm going to tell you why. Because when I started out, I didn't have a band. And, and I said, if I ever get my band, whoever opens up, do, do my show, is going to sound as good as they can sound. And that was my, that was my decision way, and that's the way it was. All, all the people that was on my show, that's what happened to them. They went on to be successful because my band made, made them sound just as good. Like I said, they wanted to sound as good as they can sound. Thank you so Thank you so much. Give everybody a nice round of applause. I like to come here because I get the chance to meet all. We don't get, we go, give them a nice round. They all of the pickers and all the other artists. And I mean that.